This is Command Droid SH TAC 3 reporting. Battle for Bestine 5 is a substantial success. Our tight formation, mixed with the fact that all of our droid vessels were transmitting white noise on rotating frequencies, and no forces could communicate during the battle, Republic and Separatists included. The difference being, droid forces were expecting the loss of communication, the Republic was not. The Republic forces attacked in uncoordinated waves. While all droid ship commanders worked the same priority target list, while they did marginal damage to all CIS vessels, Task Force 23, TAC 14 decimated each single ship it overwhelmed with turbo and ion fire. A single pursuit destroyer was lost. While the Republic lost five acclimators, three Arquintons, one Carrick, three Curlian Corvettes, two gunships, and an assortment of support craft, I will recompile my formation planning to help alleviate any future losses. Another target has been acquired. We'll report with more data after the battle, requesting replenishment of one new destroyer. SH Tag 3 out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Empire War Forces of Corruption playing the fantastic mod Fall of the Republic. Today, well, we're continuing our invasion of a few key worlds for the Republic. Mostly. We're going to try, I think, I was kind of going over your guys' comments. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to hook up with our forces at Cato Demoidia. We've got, now that we've claimed this, because we've been putting in some, uh, a lot of our credits that have been coming in for the last five weeks have all been dumped into trying to secure the support of the Trade Federation. Ooh, let me turn that game volume down. So, we need to get there, though, or we're going to be in trouble. The whole point was to get Deco Nemoidia because we can build capital ships here. It's a level four space station, a dreadnought shipyard. We have no capital ship production capability as of yet. So we've got to really keep those capital ships alive. But we can't build anything because we don't want to waste all the credits and not get like Deco Nemoidia under our control before the Republic manages to get a fleet over here. And they are building cap ships right there at Quat. So I'm a little worried we're going to lose this before we can get to it. Um, I have a feeling, I'm a feeling that the, the Trade Federation isn't going to be able to hold out, particularly if the, uh, well, if the AI is running their fleets. So we do have a large fleet that's actually pretty close. If we can just knock out the defenders over at Biblos and Loronar, Loronar? Yeah, uh, we can hook up with them. Enemy fleet that we can see on sensors right now that we're relatively close to. No, we can only see them because... We own the planet underneath them. That's right. Uh, actually, not... Oh, I was about to say not that substantial. But then the pride of the core is there. So we've got a mandate we're going to have to deal with at some point. And I don't know what the best way to take that down is. Probably fighters, I imagine. Uh, going through all the weapon systems it's got. Yeah, heavy dual turbo lasers. There's eight sets of them. Ten ultra heavies. Uh, light dual turbos. Quad ions. Those are all really heavy weapons for taking out well, larger ships. Fighters, though, could definitely get in and underneath it. The weakness of the Super Star Destroyers is always fighters. All right. How are we going to do this? Do we want to just blockade Denon, or do we want to try to do a ground invasion? I kind of leaning towards blockade at the moment, because our biggest weakness is ground forces. We just don't have them, and we don't have the money to invest in them. Yeah... We've got Grievous's unit, which has got three battalions of B1s and some armor backup. And then we got Ronyards. But if we keep doing ground invasions, they don't have much, though. And we'll have orbital support. And that extra 500 credits would not go amiss. Of course, it won't be 500 credits once we take it. We'll have to slowly get them on our side. It's one of the mechanics for this mod, which is quite cool. All right. Oh, we do have ground forces in orbit, too, for some reason. Being escorted by a recusant. Yeah, we're going to take this. Just because they only have a single structure on the ground. Do I know what it is? I don't know what it is. Uh, but because it's only a single structure, I have a probe droid nearby. Let's send it. Let's send it and find out what is on the deck. We will group up our ground forces and start moving them over. And do we have... What would it cost to get at least something on the ground here? A thousand for a corporate headquarters, which will give us some crab droids. It'll give us uh, six units of B1s on the ground coming out in waves of three. That's what that three slash six is. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. 
probably worth it because this isn't going to give us any defense. No. All right. Our spy is almost there. Oh. Oh, okay. They may only have just the senator's office, which gives them a substantial increase in uh, ground forces, but they do have a platoon of the 313th. They've got... What is this? A land speeder. A couple of old ATPTs, which I guess they're not that old in this time period, but... And then we've got two walker companies, the 513th Brigade and the Squadron uh, 14. Hmm. That's still not crazy. It's a... It'll be an investment. Yeah, but then you get the Senator's Office, which gets, like, ATRT, Saber Tanks. It only gets two Saber Tanks, though. If we're careful and we drain their forces, we could take that. Mm, you know what? We're going to go for it. We need that extra increase in income. We'll just be very, very careful. Let me get an armored division hitting the deck first. All which, ships commence landing procedures. Commence landing procedures. Let's do it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We ordered them too. We have Hellfire droids, artillery vehicles ready to go. In the south, I could have moved them up here. We'll move them up for the next invasion. Oh, that would have been great for weakening them too. Kind of bombarding them. All right, put the B1 battle droids on the front line. We need to eradicate all enemy forces to gain control of this planet. Okay, so we do not have a capture and hold victory requirement. Um, we do have on hand, what, five, 900 credits? Let's get another group. And I'm going to use Grievous on this one. Your doom approaches. And then... Do I want anti-infantry? Or do I want something like the... Octopi droid? Actually, let's go to the scout group. Yeah, I we'll have to use some of our credits. I don't really want to use those credits, though. We're going to try to do this cheaply. I may regret this. Let's see what our, what our turrets are are like. Let's go also run over and see if we can capture this. Um, I'm going to use the scouts. If they ever unload, man, you scouts take a while. We've secured a build pad. How much? Eesh, we only have 900 credits. The clones are out there. Uh-oh. Clones. The clones have gone all the way across and are capturing this location. Not great for us. Looks like we've got a neutral party in the middle. Our scouts have arrived. I'm not convinced they can actually capture this. I'll send uh, two units of B1s to capture. And we'll send over Grievous as well. The Magna Guard. You hear Grievous coughing. So we can't actually capture. What, what are you guys taking damage from? Just keep the enemy from actually capturing this. There's the saber tanks. Okay, the saber tank might be a problem. Yeah, we can't capture anything. What do we got? A single group of clones? Yeah, open up on them. That's not looking good. Grievous is just about to arrive. Let's get Grievous taking the damage for this. Let's, yeah, Grievous take the damage for this. And I'm going to send you up to capture. Those B1 should be coming up now. Enemy scout bike. Engage that enemy scout bike. Come on, wreck him, Grievous. I hope he has regen. I hope he gets some health back. Come on, get him. Light saber that fool. There you go. He should be able to capture, I hope. If not, the B1 scan. <laughs> what? They gave us a free juggernaut? <laughs> juggernaut ready. All right, I'm sending you back there. That's amazing. They're not going to give us two, are they? It's pausing like they're thinking about it. Don't fight that. You two, get in here. We're putting the B1s in the Juggernaut. So we've, like, captured a Republic production facility is how I'm taking this. All right, B1s. You're on point. You're right. Let's get those heavy weapons firing. There's the rounds. 
We got a bombing run prepared. Call in the bombing run. <gasps> Grievous, shit, run. Did I get him out of there? Yeah, we gotta get you out of there. Where's that bombing run? There it is, there it is. Oh, that's a great bombing run too. Oof, that whole middle army is just destroyed. Cool. Let's capture this so we can increase our build cap. I'll move everyone over here. I can't believe they gave us a juggernaut. Uh, highly doubt we're gonna get another. All right, they've arrived. We're gonna own this. We've won the battle back here with minimal, if no casualties. All right, what's your deal? Because you've got a weapon system. You've got concussion missiles. Really? When did AATs have concussion missiles? Interesting. But uh, da, 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 da. is that what it switches to? We're gonna do a half and half. You guys switch over to your other weapon system. From missiles types to AATs launchers. Oh, I'm switching the missile types. Oh, I can fire protons. Weird. Kind of cool, though. All right, you guys go ahead and turn around. Yeah, these things are neat. And we're going to hold here. Oh, is that what these are? Are these missile tubes? Interesting. Our build cap is a bit higher. Um, We're going to go with quality. Assassination protocols online. So we're gonna get the assassin droids in and let's get the occupier ones. We're hoping to do this without any casualties. And in you go, in you go. Let's go do some scouting. Actually, can we just put everybody in there? No, you're only gonna let Grievous go in there, aren't you? Yep. We've got enemy contact. It's been destroyed. Right away. Let's move out. Scouts, what are, what's over here? There's gotta be something, right? It's just an empty platform that we'd never want to go to, or they have like structures over here. They have structures over here, and one of them is the shield generator. All right, we've got a bombardment ready. I haven't seen any turbo lasers, and we didn't see them on the map, so I, I have a feeling we'll be fine. Um, what are your orders? Sort of the juggernaut over. I don't think we're gonna win this. So let's back off. I'll send the Magna Guard up there to kill him. We're immune to your tricks. And then the Juggernaut's en route. <laughs> it must be just random Republic buildings. Like whoever owns the planet, you're going to get some of their random vehicles. Not overly concerned in taking that out. Killing out some, a yeah, popping out some ATRTs though. I'll take that. Hey, Commandos. Looks like they're waiting for us. Uh... Commandos, where are you? Did I not drop? Yeah, Magna Guard back here. There you are. There you guys are. Assassination protocols online. Assassination protocols online. So what's your deal? You guys have sprint. You're gonna be group one. So I can sprint you out if things get terrible. Got a bunker up here. How we doing up here? So got the bombing run. We only killed the first wave. They should have more. Activating strategic control circuits. Swinging north. I'm going to drop a bunch of tanks back here with Droidica support and more B1s. The B1's whole goal, like this is the way that I'm using them and you guys can tell me if this is if this is led what in the world? Oh, the Magna Guard are here. That's what that is. I'm using them as cannon fodder to absorb damage, basically. All right, their shield generator is down. We've got enemy contact. AT weapons, easily able to take it out. Um, yeah, take it out. I feel, I feel like you guys can deal with this. They're snipers. The commandos come with Four snipers. Looks like a grenadier of some kind. Yeah, grenadier. What kind of grenades do you have? You have concussions? Yeah, concussions, okay. No, like, thermal deaths here. It's all concussions. Or ion can be nice. No, it wouldn't. We're droids. That's a terrible idea. We hate ion weapons. Uh, all right, a little bit of damage is done. 
wouldn't mind getting close enough to ion or orbital strike the enemy base. Okay, we might have to run. Yeah, we gotta run. I do have another orbital strike, so let's actually just hold you guys here. Oh, the saber ran. Damn. All right. Bombing runs in route. Just hold that a little bit longer. Oh, the miss. Sadly, we're only going to hit like... Run. Run, 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 run. Oh, we didn't kill it. Wow, we're doing nothing. You can heal yourself? Why? And our commandos are kind of getting stomped. There we go. We killed it, but barely. Activating jammers. We should probably just send the army over. Yeah. All right. We're going to move you guys back so we don't lose you. And let's start moving the convoy over. We'll roll from here north. How are you guys doing? The field of droids are ready. Let's move out. I copy. Let's go find a target and hit it with the orbital bombardment. Oh, there's that saber tank. He ran to the other side of the map. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Woo! That saber has some, uh, some damage to armor. Come on, finish it. Finish it. Frustrating. It's actually running away, getting um, deflectors back up. All right, kill that. You keep running. I feel like the Magna Guard have got this under lockdown. Keep running. Don't park on them. Just go. I could drop off the Grievous, but I'm not super worried about it. All right. Drop off Grievous and the B1s. Grievous will wreck all of them. Did we lose it? Saber's not dead yet. And Grievous is getting work done. Magna Guard, do your job and guard Grievous. Sadly, we don't keep the A6, so... Not A6. Which version is this? It's the A4. It's the tiny one. All right. Our forces are still mounted up over here. Looking okay. I'm going to start pushing you up. Saving that orbital strike. Hopefully soon we're going to have a... Um, how are we doing over here? Uh -oh. The burned out city. Now it seems like the Clone Wars. Hey, it wasn't us that did it this time. You think it would be being the Separatist, but no, the Republic did that. Holding. I'll grab this reinforcement point in case things go terribly, terribly awry. The Separatist army marches through the city streets. How horrifying would this be? Now, I do have some scouts left. Let me get one of you. That way we don't risk losing everybody. You guys all right over here? Yeah, you're all right. Find me a target. Is that... Do we kill the entire wave? Whoop. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're fine. Purple strike. Bring it down. Bombardment is on the way. We're going to lose the um, A6, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Enemy reinforcement, or reinforcement retreat. And we have won the day. And Grievous is mowing the lawn. Oh, no. <laughs> poor adjudicators. Poor Republic troopers. All right, we're going to pause as soon as we take it. Really? Wait, are you costing us money? No, plus, plus minus 700, excuse me. Yeah, you're costing us money at the moment. It's going to take a minute for that to, to go under separatist control, and then we'll actually start getting uh, an income tick. So we're at 4 8, we're about to be paid. As soon as we get paid, we're going to continue our efforts to bring the Trade Federation under our control. It was Trade Federation, right? Uh, yes, Trade Federation, so we can get Deco Demoidia and Kuro Demoidia. I don't know if there are any other Trade Federation plans. There aren't. Awesome. So we have a 50-50 shot on getting a, a capital shipyard and getting another... How big is this fleet? Luker Hulk. Under our control. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. 
We also have another ground invasion that needs to be dealt with right here, but that one, that one they seem to be well supplied and they've got a barracks, ouch. The problem with a barracks is that it never stops sending troops at us. They're gonna have carbineers, they're gonna have rifle squads, and it'll all, oh, it's uh, two, what, four, five, so six squads. So they're gonna be spawning platoon sizes uh, every time we take one out. They'll get another reinforcement, another reinforcement. We need to be ready for that. Definitely gonna want the Hellfire droids, which were located at Yag. Here they are. We've got two sets of them. I think once we get the shipyards locked down, it's gonna be time to produce some ground forces again. Uh, particularly some more droidicas. Hellfires. What in the world? Platoon attack craft. No frills ground transport adopted the design of a commercial repulsor sled. Less protected than the large MTT, but faster and more suited to bulk transport. Yeah, and you can't you can't actually put stuff in the MTT. So what what is this? Heavy armed missile launcher, one of the many Trade Federation products with long predates the outbreak of Clone Wars, though very dangerous and to air units, it has very... It has a little ability to protect itself against ground. Oh, okay. It's an AA piece. Uh, that can only fire flak missiles. and only has a couple of light ion blasters. You know, air hasn't... Ah, I almost said air hasn't been a big deal, but we did end up fighting against a lat, and that lat did substantial damage to us. Might not be a bad idea. Particularly against the army that we are blockading right now over Bestine. Yeah. And coming soon, Devon's going to be a problem. How much would it cost us to get turbos? Two grand? Oof. All right, let's get that research. Let's get that Trade Federation planet under our control. We're going to hold. Separatist control of the planet is now 100%. Wonderful. We're going to pick up some at five grand. Do the research first. That was under... Wasn't there something funky? Where can I not do it right now? There it is. Somebody had it. Uh, trade, Commerce Guild, Techno Union. Oh, we're already researching it on a world or it would come up right now. I just don't know which one it is. We must've picked it up at the end of the last session. That's Banking Clan. That's Commerce Guild. And that's Techno Union. We want Trade Federation. Ah, there it is, 40%. Yeah, we're already working our way through it. Oh, wait, good, we've already paid for it. So that means we can pick up a little bit of backline defense. We don't want a, uh, you know, Delta or some kind of commando team raiding us and taking these plans without a fight. So we also could use the extra income. Um, so we're gonna get a corporate headquarters here. Constructing. Ooh, you've got labor camps and I could turn you into a proper, like, production facility back here. Tax collection agency. You're 1,500, but you increase our overall income. That's a long-term bonus. You lose, lower our influence, though. Hmm. Tempting. Super tempting. Mm, let's focus on getting these up first. And we'll dig in a little bit on the front line. That's what we're going to do. So, can I train troops here? No, but I could get a barracks, and that would give us, what, unlimited B1s? Unlimited super battle droids by one squad? Wow, you guys do not get very good numbers. Like, one's two squads of battle droids is kind of crap. You get three total with the super battle droids. That's not very good. Yeah, that's actually really terrible. AV Turboizer. I'd be able to recruit battle droids here, though. It's gonna eat some of our food production. Or I could just assign troops there. What is a battle? What is a pl Let's see. Let's see. What is a uh, 160? Yeah, we're just gonna send. We're just gonna send a bunch of B1s over there, relatively cheap. We'll send four platoons of them. Um, and I will dispatch these Hellfire droids there immediately. What I'm thinking is they're going to attack this. Um, we're not going to be able to hold it in orbit. We might be able to hold it on the ground. And we're going to order another group of rocket troops. Wow, why did that price go up? Resource shortage has increased prices and slowed down production for your faction. Oh, no! We're short on... What are we short on? 
We had a stockpile credits mission. Oops. And we're short on... Look at the wrong thing. Gotta look at this one. We're negative one on food supplies at the moment. Yikes. And if we take this world, it's going to cost us two food. <laughs> Not great. We're going to have to increase that. So we do have the space back here. We don't have the money. Because everything is really expensive. Ouch. Is there any worlds that we could take for food production? Corellia, too far. You already control two food a week. Uh, you're actually gonna cost us. We're gonna be, we're gonna start starving. Yeah, this is not good. Um, I need, uh, I, hmm. I might have to cancel that. Yeah, you're no longer priority. I need food. Desperately. I'll put some food here. That's the first time this system has had, like, a major impact on our... ...on our campaign. That's gonna stop us for almost an entire week. Yikes. Well, we gotta hold out. Uh, I'm gonna put a single recusant here, and we're gonna move our forces forward. On the off chance that the enemy attacks us, I want our defenders ready to go. Uh, a tier 3 space station... No, tier 2 space station. It's not terrible. I just don't know if they're going to go after Deveron or Bessardo. We also need to move another probe droid, which we are... Oh, and how much are probe droids going to be now? With this in A thousand? Everything is like a thousand credits. This sucks. Wait, how much are these B1s costing me now? 320. Oh, that sucks. So I'd have to do a blind attack against a tier 3 station if I wanted to try to take this world. Oh, oh, we've got a, um, we do have a probe. Actually, not very far away. Let's backtrack you. I'd rather you scan this. Oh, you actually saw this on the way through. That is not good. They're building a fleet there. Wow, your forces suck. Let's go. Your point, man. Let's go break this. Great time to, even if we don't take the world, hit them for now and break their stuff, kill a couple of ships, and then maybe make it for the tier three and kill that Venator. Um, oh no, if I lose this world in the middle with almost no defenders, I'm going to lose two more food. So you're probably wondering, like, why is food such a big deal for the Separatists? Well, it's not food for the droids, obviously. It's because you've got to keep those planets that have departed from the Republic happy. Those population centers are what are keeping you afloat. IPV reporting. Location confirmed. Customers. Because they're all major, you know, they're all like megacorps in the Separatist Union. Da, 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 da. The Gazanti. Imperial one is so much cooler with the ties on the bottom of it. All right. How are we going to play this? Well, they don't have much. So I say we get closer with a scout unit, which is this. Command. We're going to speed up time a little bit, let him get closer. Awaiting Drop command. in a battleship as a the primary, like, middle of the fleet. And then just bring in, um, like, long-range weapon systems. So, like, the Recusant and then the Frigates, the Munificence. Let them just shell the enemy a space station. Chances are they're going to run. Also, battleship loser hulk is just freaking cool. Oh, we actually dropped out in range. Oh, we do have a lot of enemy fighters, and uh, they, uh, they actually do have a substantial amount of firepower here. We should be able to kill it pretty quickly. Now, somebody was a little perturbed in the comments section that I used Recusance as anti-fighter uh, capability. I did put them on the back line. I mean, they stayed close to the fleet, and the fleet was a tight formation, but I kept them on the back line. Uh, it's those light dual laser cans. And the, uh, the six light laser cans that wrecking those enemy fighters. Um, you know what? Let's put, Location let's confirmed. actually get a front line Fallout. of diamonds. That way we can intercept enemy torpedoes. 
Um, and then, yeah, I'm thinking, let me just let that hyperspace in so we can see the formation. It's not a bad formation. And then we're going to double down on it. Uh, and then again, I'm going to go for a recussant here and a recussant here. Idea being, you know, they come in, they drop their torpedoes with their fighters, they get intercepted by the diamonds, and then the recussants, as those bombers get closer, actually get within range of their light weapons and we tear them to pieces. Uh, we can also bring in a couple of these carriers. These are great little anti-fighter ships. The only problem with them is they're really easy to kill. Uh, so they have a habit of dying. But look at that fleet. And then all of those ultra-heavy turbo lasers are going to start opening up. Oh, got to start pulling those diamonds back a little bit. They're getting primaried. Other reason why the diamonds don't really work too well. Oh, there's the interception. As tanks. People in chat were like, you got to use them as the forward tank. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess they're replaceable. You guys need to start focusing your fire on singular targets so that you can actually manage to kill them. Hold where you are, though. Recussants, just move up a little bit. Yeah, diamonds are getting wrecked. Let's go. I don't think they had the firepower anyways to kill this, so I probably shouldn't have put the diamonds up that far. That's all right. We are still absolutely destroying some of the Mipsons have turned around, so we've lost their firepower in this fight. Absolutely destroying this enemy fleet. I'm just going to give the order for our donuts to push forward. Donut of Doom! How close can I zoom in on the donut? This is it from the spectator cam. Gotcha. It does look cool, though. Explosives detected. How are we doing over here? We have a lot of fighters. Press and let's move up. Mm, I'm not going to bother bringing anything in right now. Let's just fast forward. We've got this. It's a simple siege. The golem platform is going to break, and now they're falling back. And we did manage to destroy the enemy fleet. They didn't run. That should have been all free units right there. Nice. Poor Pelta. Sadly, two diamonds. That seemed unnecessary losses, but we'll, we'll remember that for next time. Have them nearby, but if you know you can take it, maybe have the battleship take all of the fire at the beginning. Um, if you can keep their attention. Okay. We're blockading this. We're out of food. <laughs> we desperately need food. Which is a weird thing to think about. We have five... Where do we get five grand from? Okay. I'm going to build up... Um... Ooh. I can actually get artillery. Not just hellfires, but like proper artillery. Let's fix the food problems first. Um, man. I want my food in the back. Let's get this going. Let's get two farms going. You guys already can make the stuff that I want you to make. Uh, oh, I can even get the proton cannons. What do you guys think for artillery? Let me know in the comments. What's better? Is it the protons? Or the... Where's the other one? This, uh, this guy. This guy, the the Hag M. This is the one that they had an episode of where they were loading like anti uh bio weapons, which were pretty messed up when you think about it. Mm, okay. We're looking pretty good though. I like it. We got a good front line. We've got a plan. Let's get let's get this finished. I'm gonna let time go by. Let's see if the Republic attacks us. I mean if I was them, I'd start attacking those backline planets. Did we ever get that shield generator on this planet? Turbo lasers. I didn't go shield generator. I went turbo. Oh, I did get shield generator. Wow, you're dug in. No wonder they haven't tried to attack you. You're probably you're basically some kind of fortress world. Oh, 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 oh. Um, the Confederacy has conquered Koru Nemoidia. Really? The one in the back? I'm not gonna complain about having two new providences in the fleet, but wow. We gotta do it again. Alright. Trade Federation. Listen. You guys are great. Join us. Think of all the things we could do. Ooh, 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 ooh what was that? I'm not gonna build it because everything's super expensive right now. Trade ports. 
How much does it increase productivity by? Orbital trade for provides a bonus to income on the planet. The planet's income is right now 350. That's not bad. Lightly armored, minimal defenses. Um, minus two food and two on parts a week. We should be fine on part. No, we're negative three on food, but we're plus six on parts. All right, let's fix the food problem. We have food going down on multiple worlds. I think those farms only give us plus one food. <gasps> no, they're plus 10 food a week. And they increase influence. That's what that little green bar is, by the way. That's the influence marker. Means we'll make more money off the planet and keeps them from rebelling. Okay. No, it's good to have two farms. Mm -hmm. I'm down for it. Just debating what to put down. Well, we'll focus. We'll focus on getting the next research. Uh, gonna need that techno union research. Six grand? Oh, it doubles everything. All right, let it all, let it finish. Let, let those farms finish. I can't afford this stuff. This will have some money stockpiled. A forced savings. Construction complete. Okay, can I build stuff now? Nope. I bet I have to wait for a week to go by to fix the pricing. Oh, no, pricing's good. All right, pricing's back to normal. So, uh, let's do the research way over here for the Techno Union. Let's pick up, um, let's pick up that trade station now. And get that 350 a little higher. You could be like a trade plaza. I wonder how many more trade stations we can get. Mm. Get your space station online. You can get a space station trade center too, huh? But you're gonna eat two more of our food. We're sitting at six food right now. And as we take worlds, some of them are gonna eat food like this one, which we do need to take. We should also order up while I'm thinking about it. Let's order up some more probes. Not there, you'll take forever. Let's go with, back here. Two probe droids. Wow, they're expensive, 500 a piece, ouch. Um, And let's order up I'm gonna order up one more Hellfire droid on the ground troops. In production. And you, you've got a spot left open. What can we make? I wanna hold this world for the entire campaign. How can we help with this? Um, I could give them a golden platform, but eh. I don't really prefer them. I could increase the fleet size, but I don't really wanna put that kind of weaponry down there. I think ground defenses are gonna be key here. Maybe a heavy factory, that'll give us, um... Wow, that uses industrial parts. Armored assault tank. Ground armored tank. Ground armored tank. OG homing tree, eh, none of these are really that great. I mean, other than more free units from them. You know what, let's do it. We're gonna double down on barracks on this so we can just swarm the landing zone with free B1 battle droids. All right, everyone, let me know in the comments what you guys think we should focus on next. I've been enjoying reading your guys' perspective on this. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. The only thing is that that Munificence is going to be a problem. Munificence, excuse me, that Pride of the Core is going to be a problem. And where are the rest of their fleets? Because they have some serious ones in here. We've only defeated, like, one real fleet so far. I'll see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.